Hey everybody, welcome to Isha Training Solutions. This is Kumar Gupta. It's been a while that you know I have made some videos. So now I'm getting some time, so I thought you know I'll make some videos. This is the question which was asked by Malik Arjun. Looks like it has been asked in an interview. So let's try to answer this question uh, to the best of my abilities. So let's see what, what is this question. So, hi Kumar sir, I have an interview question, could you please answer? I have to run one business scenario in different browsers like login in one browser, search function in another browser, logout in another browser, is it possible? It's certainly possible Malik Arjun. Okay, so to, to take your example, so what I have done is I have created a scenario, one is book flight, one is cancel flight, one is register users. Let's try to run this in one browser, this is in another browser, this is in another browser. Okay, so <coughs> So, uh, now let's say cancel flight we need to run with 10 users, okay, and uh, register users in 10 users and book flight in 10 users. But what you wanted to do is cancel flight in one browser, so you just go to the runtime settings. And uh, Malika, it's a very, very simple question. Anybody who have done some real time easily could answer this. But anyway, since you have asked this, I am ask, answering this. So go to the runtime settings of cancel flight and then go to where we can play around with the browsers. Okay. Uh, browser emulation, that's right. So, okay, so let's say this one you wanted to run with Internet uh, Explorer. You can select the version, let's say it's 11. Okay, we'll click on okay. Now what happens, the, the cancel flight will be run on the, on the Internet Explorer. Now let's go to the second one, which is the register user. Click on the uh, runtime settings. Again, I'm assuming that whoever is watching this video, they have a good knowledge of controller. That's why I'm not saying that, you know, how to go to the runtime settings for each groups. If you don't know how to go to the run, and by the way, each one is one group. Okay, so this group you wanted to go to the runtime settings of it, just click anywhere on the group and click on the runtime settings of that group which is over here. Then you go to the runtime settings of register user and then go to the browser emulation and then you can change it to let's say uh, edge. Okay, edge whatever the version it is, click on okay. Now this this cancel flight if you look at the runtime settings of it of the browser evolution this is executed in microsoft internet explorer this browser this group which is register user this will be with the edge and let's say the third group which is the book flight so let's say this one we want to execute with google chrome okay so let's go ahead and select the google chrome whatever the version it is click on okay so this one will be executed with the chrome this one with, sorry uh, IE, this one with the, I think the edge, third one is the chrome. Okay, so like this, you have n number of groups. Each group you can specifically set which browser you want it to execute. By the way, Malikarjun, this is a very simple question, but what is a complicated question is let's say this cancel flight, okay, you're executing with uh, 10 users. Now, the most difficult interview question is. The first five users you wanted to execute with Chrome, then and not first five users, out of ten users, five users are executing with Chrome, and then the five more users have to execute in Edge. How do we do it? Is it possible? This is a difficult question. The, actually, the interviewer asked you a very simple question wherein one group like cancel flight in Excel. Uh, Internet Explorer and register using in Chrome or you know Edge and then book flight in Chrome it's easily possible but the cancel flight itself some of the users in one browser other users in other browser is it possible so if you go to the runtime settings there is no way over here you can say that you know out of these five users okay out of these ten users five is in Internet Explorer five is in Chrome you know there's no setting like this you change this to let's say Chrome okay all the ten users will change to Chrome but what you want okay you want five users in chrome five users in edge now what happened you have changed this to chrome all 10 users is in chrome you changed it to edge all 10 users will be edge but what you want the five in edge five in chrome is it possible yes what you do is you add one more uh, one more group of cancel flight okay one more use of cancel flight now <coughs> you make this as five users you make this as five users. Now, overall cancel flight, how many users you are executing with? 
Okay, cancel flight, how many users you are executing with 10 users? But 5 users in group 1, 5 users in group 2, your scenario says that it needs to be executed with 10 users. So you are executing with 10 users. Now you go to the group 1 where you just say the 5 users should be in what? The 5 users should be in Chrome. Just go ahead and select Chrome. Now these users, these five users will be executed in Chrome and you go to the runtime settings and then the next five users should be in what? The next five users should be in Edge. So you go ahead and select Edge and click on OK. Now these five users, overall you are executing with 10 users, so it's cancel flight, that's what you're supposed to do. But five users is in Chrome, five users is in Edge. So I've not only answered your interview question, but I have actually uh, made a different, difficult interview question, which very few people know this, unless you you have to, uh, you ex you don't explore the things Malikaj. And so, um, you know, I have worked a lot, played around the world, I've, I've implemented at least 60, maybe 50 projects, I don't know, like a lot of projects. Every project has a challenge, so that's when you start exploring. So this challenge I have to face in one of the uh, uh, one of the uh, one of the project wherein uh, they said that you know um, some of the users out of like 500 users uh, 250 users should be with a bandwidth of one one mbps 250 users should be with another mbps let's say the 250 users in the bandwidth uh, bandwidth of one mbps so you go to the speed simulation okay and then uh, use the bandwidth of 1 Mbps or whatever. Okay, let's, let's say not 1 Mbps, let's say 1.5 Mbps. Okay, I don't remember is it 1.5 or 10 or whatever. So 250 users with uh, one bandwidth, let's say it's 1.5 Mbps. And uh, for the same script, for the same script, the remaining 250 users, okay, the remaining 250 users, it, it is 10 Mbps. Okay, so you go here and select 10 Mbps. So this is what the challenge I had to face in a real-time project. And this is how I've done it. Okay, after a little bit of thought process and exploring. Anyways, Malika, I think I have answered your question. And again, you know, not only your question, but what is the challenge that I've faced in my real-time project as well. Okay, so I hope I've answered the question.